Becoming an Icon is a new podcast that chronicles the lives of Latinx artists who are trailblazers and have changed the game in multiple industries. The podcast is hosted by Liliana Vasquez and Joseph Carrillo, and we have a snippet of an episode when they dive into the impact of Jennifer Lopez. We could have started with her music or her acting. Or her love life. We'll get to that, I promise. But, you know, it was important to Joseph and I, as people in the fashion industry, to start with her place in fashion. Because, to be honest, it's a place that very few Latinos have ever been accepted. I feel JLo has paved the way for our Latinidad to be accepted in those elite circles and for our cultura to present front and center on some of the world's biggest stages. Yet color, feathers, and a whole lot of blue. I love this conversation. Okay, so joining me now is two-time Emmy-winning host Liliana Vasquez. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. It's really exciting, and I love that Jennifer Lopez was one of your first topics to talk about. I mean, I mean hello. She's it's iconic. I, was, I just saw her last night. I was at the premiere of Excuse The Mother. Excuse me? What? Where was my invite? I, you were I, with next time. my Puerto Rican queen? Boricua también? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> we're going to be here for a while, hello. guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, so what was that like? It was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, she's incredible. And I think, you know, what this show does is really covers the journey of these icons from start to now, because they're mm -hmm. not done, right? You know, we go all the way back with Jennifer. We go all the way back with Bad Bunny. So a lot of people are coming to the show thinking, you know, oh, I have to be a fan of Jennifer or I have to mm -hmm. be a fan of Bad Bunny to listen. You don't. I actually say, come listen if you're not a fan, because the show will actually make you a fan. And it's obviously touching also on the impact of Latinos in Hollywood and entertainment. You know, we're so underrepresented mm -hmm. all the time. So it's really amazing to have a vehicle like this to share our journey in Splendor. And I feel like a lot of people are in the mood right now to learn because yeah. there are so many things that are kind of coming at you fast paced where you know we're underrepresented absolutely but people don't know the history people aren't yes. aware of why or the strides that we've made so far so um, that's why I love your podcast uh, but I do want to talk about you creating the podcast in the first place yes. uh, where did this um, idea kind of come about and then also um, what is the research like for you oh because you, you got to <laughs> double check everything and make sure you're going with the right stuff absolutely well the idea came from this. I'm going to date myself here, but I'm like a 90s girl. Um, I grew up on VH1 behind mm -hmm. the music. It's one of my favorite shows that I've ever watched. And I thought I want to have those conversations because I was having them with friends over drinks or at mm -hmm. brunch, but I wanted to add a lot of fun to it. And that's where my co-host Joseph Carrillo comes in. So we talk about this music because the show is really rooted in the music. And mm -hmm. I think music is such a beautiful way to like experience things. It brings back nostalgia. So I thought if we could create behind the music for a podcast, but with a lot of sass and a lot of opinion with people that we want to know more about, this would be a dream. So iHeart and Sonoda were like, come on over and do it. Um, so we launched two months ago. We have so many amazing icons coming up. And the research is, honestly, it's the best part of my job because I get to go back and watch all the videos. Like I was just doing one on Bruno Mars. I got oh, to watch all of his old videos. I love this. Some people don't even know that Bruno Mars is half Puerto Rican. And so that's also part of this show is discovering new things mm -hmm. about our favorite artists. You might think you know everything about Bad Bunny, but I guarantee you, you don't know a lot. I don't know. I love Bad Bunny. I do know a lot. Um, <laughs> just kidding. I'm not going to challenge you on that one. I will I'm listen to that off. episode for sure. Um, I also want to shift gears a little bit because Mother's Day is yes. coming up and you've been pretty open about about your fertility journey. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit more about why it's important to connect with your listeners and your followers in that oh, way. Oh, absolutely. Well, I think, you know, fertility, we talk so much about maternal wellness after you have a baby, but so many women are struggling in the process to create and build their families. Mm -hmm. And so I think having these very open and honest conversations destigmatizes all of this, right? Loss, infertility, IVF, this whole journey. So for me, I wanted to open up myself. I didn't for six years. I went through this struggle privately and it's probably one of my biggest regrets once I opened up, I found an amazing community of women and men and families that were supporting me. And I want to do the same for my followers and fans and people that want to have somebody to talk to about mm -hmm. this. So it was really important for me to share. And also because I have a beautiful, almost two year old son because of all of those struggles and battles. And my message is always like, stick with it. Like your family is worth it. And I love that you're saying that because I do think the first step is to be vulnerable yes. and make sure you can start and have those conversations. Absolutely. So thank you so much. We ran out of time already, thank but you. I think you're sticking around. So, so stick around with us for the What's the Buzz segment. And you can find more information about this on our website at kcownews.com slash the morning wrap. But we want to